Hello everybody, my brothers and sisters in Christ, and anybody else who sees this video. Let's see, today is Saturday, December 28th, and it's 4.29 p.m. I have another update on Matthew. She put the picture, she changed the pictures. First is the one of him sleeping, and she put from this to this. And the next one, on his way home, he's inside the car reading a book and smiling. He's so cute. And then he gets home and he says, it says, little brother, so excited. And then his little brother is like two, two or three. He's pretty little yet. And I said, um... Oh, God is so good. Prayers heard and answered. And I told you yesterday in a comment that his fever had broke. Well, she said, I mean, it was like within 24 hours that they took us to bat. That they took us to bat. Not sure what that means. Announced him well and fever free, and then he was home. Within 24 hours, he was fever free, and then he was home. It was amazing. That should read, it was 24 hours when they took out his tube and announced him well and fever free, and then he was home. That's, I mean, he couldn't have had that in him all that long. And I told her, that's great news. My subscribers love good news. Especially prayers answered. Hallelujah. I told her, I'm sure their whole church was praying also. Something good will come of this. And she says, yes, indeed. There's a reason for everything that comes on, comes along in a Christian's life. Matthew has always asked me to tell and retell the stories how God changed my life and saved my life as a little girl. There were several times when God literally saved me from death. I know, I believe Matthew has his own story to tell and to share with others concerning how God can take care of you no matter how sick you are. I mean, he was at the point of death. They, that's, who I know I believe Matthew has his own story to tell and to share it with others concerning, oh, I think I read that. Please tell all the brothers and sisters out there that we have not met yet that prayed for my grandson and one day we will meet them face to face on heaven's shore so that was for all you brothers and sisters that prayed for him they will meet you one day on heaven's shore yes we will and I oh I hope it's soon but I'm just thrilled with this because I know how special that little boy is. The devil wanted to take him out. He couldn't do it. No, he couldn't. This is a victory. Oh, there's victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. <laughs> he sought me and he bought me with his redeeming blood. He loved me ere I knew him. And all my love is due him. He plunged me to victory beneath the cleansing flood or blood. I always forget that last part. Anyway, I hope that doesn't get me a copyright strike. That's a very old hymnal. Hymn. 
Uh, we used to sing at the church where I was baptized, and that's been many, 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 many years ago, probably written in the 1800s, but um, I claim fair use for it because it's appropriate in this situation. Why write these songs if we're not to share them? That there is victory in Jesus. I'm sure the person who wrote that song would want it sung any time that someone felt like singing it. Anyway, I'll say goodbye for now. I will talk to you again soon.